Hi Year 11, uh, this is a short video uh, explaining the analysis section of C3. Uh, hopefully you'll have the bit of paper that I gave you to fill in uh, as you go through, but if not you'll need to make sure you write down the results for the different tests because uh, you'll need them next lesson. Okay, um, so first of all we're going to look at flame tests. Uh, now flame tests, as the word suggests, are, are involve flames uh, and basically different metal ions will give you different colours in a flame test. Uh, and all you do is take a wire loop and uh, dip it into your compound you're, you're analysing and then put the wire loop in the flame. Uh, and if you get a red flame or a crimson red flame, it means there's lithium ions present. If you get a yellow flame, that means there's sodium ions present. If you get a lilac flame, that means there's potassium ions present. Uh, orange or brick red flame gives, means calcium. And then a green flame means barium. Okay, so here are some flames. Um, have a quick look at the colours and see if you can work out which uh, metal ions are present. And the answers are here. Okay, so sodium. Uh, the first one is yellow, so it's sodium. Second one is lilac, so it's uh, um, potassium. The third one is crimson red, deep red, so it's lithium. And the fourth one is green, so it's barium. Another way of testing, testing for metal ions is using sodium hydroxide. Uh, all you do to test with sodium hydroxide is add sodium hydroxide solution to the solution of the substance that you're testing and you get different coloured precipitates. So copper will give you a blue precipitate. Iron 2 plus will give you a green precipitate. Iron 3 plus gives you a brown precipitate. Uh, magnesium, calcium and aluminium all give you a white precipitate. But um, if you carry on adding sodium hydroxide to excess, uh, the precipitate with aluminium will disappear. So that's a way of uh, distinguishing aluminium. And here, again, we've got some examples of some precipitates. Uh, and you can see, remember, a precipitate is a, an insoluble solid floating around in a liquid. So you take a moment, maybe pause the tape for a second, uh, to see if you can figure out which metals are present in these four test tubes. The answers are coming now. Uh, so it's green precipitate, iron 3, uh, brown precipitate, uh, sorry, green precipitate, iron 2, brown precipitate, iron 3, uh, blue copper, and then this white precipitate, which could be magnesium, calcium, or aluminium. Okay, now on to uh, testing for negative ions. So, based, so far we've just talked about uh, identifying what metal ions are present. If you want to find out what negative ions are present, there are some other tests. So for the halide ions, that's chloride, bromide and iodide, we use uh, silver nitrate. Uh, you need to add nitric acid first and then silver nitrate and you get again precipitates. Now the colours here are quite subtle but chloride gives you a white precipitate, bromide a cream precipitate and iodide a yellow precipitate. Okay, so it's, it is quite subtle, so you need to look carefully at these. Um, the other negative ions that you may uh, be uh, looking for are carbonates and sulphate. Uh, to identify a carbonate, adding acid, uh, observing fizzing uh, would suggest that it's a carbonate. To confirm that it's a carbonate, we need to confirm that the gas being generated is carbon dioxide. And hopefully, as you remember, we do that using lime water. Uh, the 
To, to identify a sulphate ion in a compound, we use barium chloride. Uh, and with that, we get a white precipitate. Um, so it's quite, quite simple. So you either get a white precipitate or you don't. Okay, so it's quite a lot of information. Hopefully you've got everything written down um, and are now ready to identify compounds X, Y and Z. So I'm going to give you a minute. Okay, you need to pause the video tape now, video for a second. Uh, have a read through and see if you can work out which uh, work out the names of the three compounds so and then I'm going to go through the answers so pause the tape now if you want to try and have a go at this by yourself okay the answers uh, for number one X uh, the red flame means lithium is present and the fizzing with acid means it's a carbonate so it must be lithium carbonate uh, the second one, why um, the brown precipitate with sodium hydroxide suggests it's iron 3 and the yellow precipitate with silver nitrate suggests it's iodide. So uh, the compound must be iron 3 iodide. And then finally uh, for why uh, the white precipitate that dissolves uh, suggests it's aluminium and the white precipitate with barium chloride uh, suggests it's a sulphate. So it must be aluminium sulfate. Okay, next lesson uh, you will be actually physically doing these tests on some unknowns so make sure that you know the answers. Thank you.